said that in 2009 I was serving as state FFA president, and part of that is at the end of the year you give a retiring address. And so I, I actually had wrote my retiring address in December before my accident, and I'd wrote it on overcoming obstacles. And you could write it on anything you want, but that's what I had shows that I wanted to share with all the all all of our FFA members that that was what was really important in life. And then a month later. There I am, actually facing a huge obstacle in my life. And uh, it was two months after that was our, our state FFA convention, and I had to give that retiring address. And so when I went out on that stage and was able to give that retiring address, I realized that that moment was, was not only changing for me, you know, I mean, but everybody else, that I was able to have this huge gift of being able to inspire other people, that no matter what they're going through, they can overcome it. And from there, then I just got asked to come and speak, and it's just grown that I've <laughs> so, been able to have an opportunity like this. So how much, have you, uh, how much speaking have you done so far? Then? So now that I speak, I do it since I am in college. I have to be careful. So I just plan a speech about every other week or every uh, at least once a month, whether it's in Utah or somewhere else. And I travel and go and speak. And I'll do anything from schools to groups like this to firesides to businesses okay. and speak at them all. And uh, I guess it's a little extra special when you get to come to a group like this that you have so much in common with. Yes, I was so thrilled. When I got the call to come here, I mean, to go into a room of, of people who are all totally, they can all relate to, you know, they've all gone through rodeo, they've all had those hardships, and to understand the passion that, that you can have with that, yeah, I was thrilled to come into a group of that we all, we all know what it's like, and we all know the passion.